This video is going to be reaction and discussion of My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 12. The reaction will now commence. He's going Class 1B. Let's be honest, we all want it to be Class 1A. As I will agree. Right. Second year. Oh. Wow. Lucky accident. A blank? Oh, you mean you couldn't use your quirk on him, gotcha. He did! Yeah, that sentence is interesting. The new power and one for one? All for one. I can't speak. Oh, spotting! Right. Right. Okay, they're practicing to see whether it's... Okay. So, Black Whip. Interesting. Interesting. Obviously, if it's connected to your emotions. Yeah, Bakugou is now completely in the know. Good to know. Yep, there it is. What did, did he do? Oh, wait, you told Bakugou everything, everything. It is similar, not the same. What are you gonna do? Oh, okay, this was back. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, got it, got it. Okay, yeah, he is going on ahead and talking again. It does, it does. It personally annoys me, it doesn't give me the creeps, but hey. The fact that all for one is in the title is worrying. <laughs> Who's that? Yes! Yes. <laughs> Brahmans! Who doesn't love a good Brahmans? Oh, everyone's here. Haha, <laughs> what is Mireto doing? Uh, uh, okay, that was an interesting thing. Yeah, apparently. Oh, yeah, that, that, yep. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of interesting to find out. Right, it makes sense that he asked though. He is, he is, he very much so is. Todoroki is absolutely not. Aim even higher. Well, good how nonchalant. I love it. I want to see that training, please, 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 please. Oh, hello there, Izawa. He's going into. Okay. 1A or 1B? Shinsu is coming here as a second. Hmm, he does. Oh. What was that? What was that? What was that? Wow. Right in the middle? Of righteousness? A blank again. Type. Stockpiling. Oh. Oh. Interesting limitation. Yep. Indeed. Cool. So now he knows. Yep. Good for him. Oh, so you wanted him to help her? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So well animated. No. Yeah, that's actually an important comparison. Similar power. Yep, indeed. I'm glad you think about that deck. Interesting information about Monoma though. So technically speaking, Sugar Rush, is it a stockpiling quirk? What exactly does a stockpiling quirk entail? Oh, those two are taking provisional licenses, right. <laughs> oh, wow. Plankton. Okay, is it going to be a combat episode? With Todoroki and Baku? Yeah, Baku has shockingly enough been useful. They held on to that for a reason? Water quirk? Okay, we haven't seen one very powerful one in a while. And ever? Baku? Oh, so Todoroki and... Hmm. This guy looks like Midoriya. Yep, only 30 minutes and they're already using their provisional licenses. Love it. I'm all for it. Yep. I feel like that's causing more damage. 30 minutes. Right. Oh. Oh, Todoroki. Merciless. Okay. Actual villain group. Okay, water quirk. He's a very bad matchup against the Rocky. Indeed. Wow. This isn't even a fight. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Got rid of these guys. Okay. This guy is quite weak, even though he has a cool quirk. Oh. Alright, dodging. He's not used to his support gear. There we go. All right. Yep. Thank you, Baku. Oh. Prominence burn. Flash fire. Heat wave. Yep. It wasn't just fire. Oh. Oh, another hero. Who's this guy? Crazy kid. Oh. 
Oh! Who's this guy? Swidingo? Okay, what a name. Good information, good world building. So... Oh. Now is it over? Okay, so... To, uh, wow, Baku, you're not gonna help him melt the ice? There's an after credit scene. There is. Oh, it's gonna be a comedy scene. <laughs> it's super quiet. Wait, did something happen? Oh, surprise party. Yay! Everyone in UA now has... Right. Oh no, why would you want that? No, that's awful. Oh no, the cake! What a moment. Is that the reason why we had an after credit scene? Really? Over? My oh my, wasn't this an exciting episode? It really was actually. I enjoyed it for what it was. And apparently we know now, I mean, we can't do that already. Obviously enough, even though... O for one is the reason one for all was created and we had this whole conversation and little realization of Deco that it's not about the origin of the power but rather how you use it which is actually a lesson that many heroes in many different I mean cultures I think is what I kind of want to say have learned I mean kind of obviously if I'm talking about not just manga but just normal comics but anyway uh, it's just an important lesson that any hero needs to just at least hear about. Which, <laughs> talking about heroes, say, eh? I'm just gonna mention it quickly. You know, you know what? Though I'm gonna talk when I get to the provisional license thing in a minute. Then I'm gonna talk about it. But yeah, uh, it was very cool to see Monoma learn a little more about his quirk, what he does with it, how it actually functions, and it has some. It Monoma's quirk has some very curious. Mm, how can I say it? Not interpretations. What is it? What is it? What are we talking about? Side effects? Kinda? Yeah, anyway. Uh, the important thing is, he can copy quirks like Bakugo and Ayasum to Doroki, but someone specifically like Deku or Fatgum, or Eri in this case, because Eri is also accidentally the same type of quirk, he can, he can copy them to a certain extent. But he cannot use their abilities fully. I mean, he can copy the actual structure of the quirk. I don't know what exactly he said. I can look into it, but it's not important. The important thing is we know that he can obviously enough copy them to a certain point, but he cannot... Ah, I think I get it. He can copy, the... he can copy quirks that stockpile power, but he can copy them only at the zero level. Pretty much. I'm pretty positive that's the case. Which is why he could get the horn, but he had zero charges in it. And it's also good, but it was a very cool idea that Aizawa thought of, which was to go on ahead, get the kit, and maybe help him teach Eri how to use her quirk. It made a lot of sense, and I think it was a very interesting thing to do. I still think it would have been dangerous even for Monomo to have such a power, but hey. I'm certain he wouldn't have done anything awful with it. But yeah, it was a cool idea, kinda sad it didn't work out, but good to know that Monomous Quirk works in the way it does. Which, I guess, does that mean he can actually copy All for One? Because All for One doesn't have a stockpiling quirk. No, he doesn't, so yeah, he can absolutely copy All for One. Well, Monoma is still as overpowered as I thought he was. Obviously, he needs to touch the person, but he is definitely pretty strong. Also, technically speaking, it's not two quirks, obviously enough, it's two. It's two separate abilities of the same quirk, if we want to be technical about it, right? I don't think there's anyone that can have multiple quirks excluding Monoma because specifically his quirk allows him to get multiple quirks. And I guess all for one is kind of that way. Yeah, all for one and Monoma have kind of some things in common. Hmm, curious. Regardless, before talking about Todoroki and the exam that they needed to take, which we didn't say anything of it because of course, uh, something very cool is Aizawa and present Mike had an interesting conversation about a person that I do not remember the name of, but Aizawa told Mike to hmm, if that if he had anything to say, he should just say it. So, does Aizawa have a kid, maybe? I doubt that. Does he maybe have a friend who lost his wife? Does he have a hero who inspired him to become the what he is? I don't know, I know there's My Hero Vigilantes, which actually talks about the past, a manga. I really hope they make an anime about that, because there's some very cool quirks I want to see uh, in that manga. But yeah, it's kind of a prequel 
but yeah, it's not kinda, it actually is. But anyway, anyway, I'm thinking about the future too much. I would love to see it though, it would be very cool to see My Hero Vigilantes, or actually it's Vigilantes, just, I think that's the name of the manga. I'm getting distracted. The thing is, I am certain that there is always going to maybe teach Shinso. That's the thing, they teased it a lot. They said that we're gonna decide in which class he's gonna be later. Uh, they obviously enough said that, obviously enough, obviously that he will be there, and they made a decision, but they're not gonna tell us because, of course, they have to wait till the second year for him to join in. Now, the thing is, are we gonna get to the second year in this season? I kind of doubt it. I feel like this will be just the first, mm, the second. This is the second semester, right? I think so. So yeah, it's about Christmas time. Kind of, because it's snowy and everything, so are we going to have a Christmas episode? I guess that could be fun. Now, anyway, excluding everything else and excluding the future, let's talk about the quick little fight with Bakugo and Todoroki. <sighs> what can I say? I saw a water quirk that's actually pretty cool, and also, wait, I think it's carbonated water, right? He can create carbonated water. What a unique quirk. <laughs> uh, it was cool, though, and... I also think it was very cool that Bakugo and Todoroki flexed hardcore on the guy and his crew. They crushed him, they got all the stolen possessions, they saved absolutely everyone. Todoroki did the thing I was always thinking he can do, which is if he uses fire and heat at the same time, something unique happens. That is an aspect of his quirk which I haven't seen him do at all, which I'm so glad he finally did. Todoroki has a lot of potential, a lot, so much, it's insane. But anyway, 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 as I said, him and Baku crushed the guy with carbonated water control, or rather creation of carbonated water, which I don't understand. People like him, how does he struggle in society? He definitely could have become an, an awesome hero. And talking about awesome heroes, uh, Mr. Swide, or whatever the name is, I, I can't believe that. How did that... <laughs> I just don't understand it. How did that guy become a hero? <laughs> the guy that can swipe? What type of quirk is that? I mean... Yeah, maybe he, he, he has to be able to do more than that. Because... You know what? I'm not gonna talk about the other My Hero prequel, which I do hope we get an anime about. But yeah, uh, the guy that can sweat, he was awesome, I love his personality, I love seeing him, I hope he actually gets an awesome fight in the future, that would be great. And I assume we're gonna get maybe Shinsu, uh, no Shinsu is not happening, yeah. Shinsu is sadly enough gonna enter in season 6. Let's be honest, the first year of MHA is gonna continue till, pr yeah, I think it till season 6, maybe throughout the first half of season 6, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I really do not know where it's gonna go. But I know Shinsu is not joining class 1A or 1B for a little while. And of course they didn't even tell us where he's joining. But anyway, that is it with that, you can subscribe to my channel there and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did.